Busy Being Jen. I'm here today to help you cover up any little bruising or discoloration you might have from getting filler. Now, this will also work for any kind of bruise that you might have, but I just got some filler done yesterday um, on my upper lip. And when I got up this morning, I had a few spots of bruising. I have um, one area here and one area here. Thankfully, nothing over here yet. Maybe some will develop. Um, don't hate on me for getting filler. <laughs> I mean, if you color your hair, if you use makeup, if you use things to alter your appearance, you understand where, you know, we want to look better. And, and um, so anyway, so getting filler is just something that I do on occasion for these little lines that I have above my, um, on my lip. So anyway, yeah, so I went and got that done yesterday. The procedure was really actually not very painful because they did a lot of numbing before it. And so, um, and then it didn't hurt and didn't uh, swell or bruise or anything afterwards. Um, and, but then today I wake up with this bruise. So the key is these two little products here. Um, these are both by Clinique. And um, one is a blush, believe it or not, and the other is a concealer. Do you have to use these exact same products? No. But the idea is to use something that's sort of a pinkish color, or not, not light pink, kind of a darker pink or red, and then a concealer over it. It's shocking that this works well because I have tried all kinds of foundations and con concealers and cover-ups and primers and all kinds of things to cover up little tiny bruise spots that I've had over the years from getting this done and um, nothing works like this does. I found out about it because I had gotten some filler done several years ago. It was the week before Christmas and I got some pretty bad bruising and I thought, oh no, I'm going to be around people, and, you know, for Christmas and all this kind of stuff and I just did not want it to show. So I actually went into um, Dillard's and went up to a makeup counter and said, can you help me with this? And this is what I got and I swear by it now. So anyway, let me go ahead and show you how you do this. Really simple. Okay, so this is the day after. You can see I only have bruising on this side today, the day after. Um, now, which isn't to say I won't develop some over here as the day goes on, but I have some noticeable bruising right here and also right here. And so those are the areas I wanna cover up. Now, what I have on is I have, I have my makeup on now. I have um, foundation on top of it, and, um, and so this is what is still showing through. So the two products I have are this Clinique Chubby Stick in a color called Amped Up Apple. And then this one is Clinique Concealer in Medium. So I start with the chubby stick and this, I mean, this is pink. So, and you would think, why would I be, why would you be using that? So look at this, it makes it look terrible, doesn't it? So I'm just gonna rub it on that spot and then on this spot, okay? And I'm gonna kind of, I'm not really touching the middle so much, I'm kind of blending out the edges. But. So now it looks even more like I got punched in the face. Okay, so now time for the concealer. this over the top and there is something about putting the concealer over that reddish color and you can use a lipstick too just a kind of reddish lipstick it doesn't have to be this exact thing um, and it, I have just so you know I have tried it with just the concealer and it does not cover it so now I just kind of dabbed it on as you could see and then I kind of blend out the edges and there you go. So that is, you know, gone. This is this right here. That's a shadow. So, um, so anyway, but covered up. So isn't that amazing? That's it. You guys, that is the whole thing. Really, really easy. And these two things, if you're just using them for that, I mean, I bought these a couple of years ago. They're still working. When my mom gets filler, I let her borrow them. Um, I, I would let any of my friends borrow this cause these are going to last me a really long time. Um, but it was just a really great success, as you could see, and I hope this was helpful to you. Anyway, um, I would love to have you come along with me on Busy Being Jen, so if you're not a current subscriber, hit that button right there. YouTube will let you know when I upload vi new videos, which is quite often. So I hope I will see you again on Busy Being Jen. Take care, you guys. Bye-bye.